Malaysian University English Test. Listening. There are five parts to the test. You will listen to each part twice. As you listen, indicate your answers on the answer sheet. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now, open your question paper and look at part one. Part one. Listen to a conversation between Sundram and his friend Lily. As you listen, choose the correct answer for questions one to seven. You now have thirty seconds to look at the questions. Now, listen carefully and indicate your answers on the answer sheet. Hi Lily, I was looking for you. Shall we go for breakfast, either for some roti canai or nasi lemak? Thank you, Sundram. Roti canai or nasi lemak sounds tempting. However, did you read the write-ups in the newspaper about the negative effects of unhealthy eating? Every day, we come across words like obesity, cholesterol and heart diseases in the newspaper. It is frightening. It is reported that unhealthy eating causes health problems and is one of the main causes of heart diseases. Oh dear, tell me more about the write-ups. I read that the variety of food that is easily available here is considered unhealthy. For example, our favourite cha kway tiao, which is greasy and loaded with calories. Well, eating such unhealthy food can lead to health problems. The report also mentioned that consuming unhealthy food is one of the factors in the increase of chronic diseases in our country, such as obesity, diabetes, cholesterol, hypertension and heart diseases. Oh gosh, what about children? Were there any reports about children? Oh yes, nowadays, obesity among children is very common and the statistics are alarming. The report said that overnourished children are usually overweight or obese and there are cases in other countries where children as young as 10 are at risk of developing health problems such as diabetes and elevated blood pressure. If children can suffer from this at such a young age, what about adults like us? Very true. What about your nieces? They are so cute and chubby. I need to warn my sister too. Both my nieces are so cute. Well, as you said, chubby. But I'm sure from the health point of view, they could be obese. My sister likes taking them to fast food restaurants because both my nieces simply love the food and drinks there. They eat without making a fuss. There was something written about fast food too. Consuming fast food on a daily basis or frequently will not provide the right amount of nutrients for us. They are very high in fat and salt with very little fiber. And most of us enjoy the high sugar content soft drinks that come with the fast food. I must say, the combination of excess salt, fat and sugar in our diet will definitely contribute to health problems. Oh no, I do go for fast food too. I guess it should be alright to consume fast food once in a while, but not on a regular basis. By the way, according to some articles, we must also be conscious of food labels. Food labels? I have never read them. Well, I think you should from now on. Food labels serve as a guideline for us to know the list of ingredients and nutritional value of the food so that we can make better choices when buying food. 
Look out for food labeling terms like pure vegetable oil, low cholesterol and no animal fat. I will take note of that Lily. Do you think I am obese? Well, I am not an authority on this topic. You need to visit a doctor. He is in a better position and the best person to advise you. I think there is a formula to check if you are overweight or obese. You can check with the doctor at CK clinic. My family and I have been there once for our health check. Thank you. Where is this clinic situated? It's just around the corner. But there are two clinics along Jalan Pelangi. Siki Clinic is opposite Surya Cafe. It is located between Lane Pharmacy and Fastmart. Don't go to ST Clinic which is next to Fastmart. There is always a very long queue at that clinic. Since you are only going for a normal health check, Siki Clinic should be just fine. Thanks. Now, you will listen to the recording again. Hi Lily, I was looking for you. Shall we go for breakfast, either for some roti chanai or nasi lemak? Thank you Sundram. Roti chanai or nasi lemak sounds tempting. However, did you read the write-ups in the newspaper about the negative effects of unhealthy eating? Every day, we come across words like obesity, cholesterol and heart diseases in the newspaper. It is frightening. It is reported that unhealthy eating causes health problems and is one of the main causes of heart diseases. Oh dear, tell me more about the write-ups. I read that the variety of food that is easily available here is considered unhealthy. For example, our favourite cha kway tiao which is greasy and loaded with calories. Well, eating such unhealthy food can lead to health problems. The report also mentioned that consuming unhealthy food is one of the factors in the increase of chronic diseases in our country, such as obesity, diabetes, cholesterol, hypertension and heart diseases. Oh gosh, what about children? Were there any reports about children? Oh yes, nowadays, obesity among children is very common and the statistics are alarming. The report said that overnourished children are usually overweight or obese and there are cases in other countries where children as young as 10 are at risk of developing health problems such as diabetes and elevated blood pressure. If children can suffer from this at such a young age, what about adults like us? Very true. What about your nieces? They are so cute and chubby. I need to warn my sister too. Both my nieces are so cute. Well, as you said, chubby. But I'm sure from the health point of view, they could be obese. My sister likes taking them to fast food restaurants because both my nieces simply love the food and drinks there. They eat without making a fuss. There was something written about fast food too. Consuming fast food on a daily basis or frequently will not provide the right amount of nutrients for us. They are very high in fat and salt with very little fiber. And most of us enjoy the high sugar content soft drinks that come with the fast food. I must say the combination of excess salt, fat and sugar in our diet will definitely contribute to health problems. Oh no, I do go for fast food too. I guess it should be alright to consume fast food once in a while, but not on a regular basis. By the way, according to some articles, we must also be conscious of food labels. Food labels? I have never read them. Well, I think you should from now on. Food labels serve as a guideline for us to know the list of ingredients and nutritional value of the food so that we can make better choices when buying food. Look out for food labeling terms like pure vegetable oil, low cholesterol and no animal fat. I will take note of that Lily. 
Do you think I am obese? Well, I am not an authority on this topic. You need to visit a doctor. He is in a better position and the best person to advise you. I think there is a formula to check if you are overweight or obese. You can check with the doctor at CK Clinic. My family and I have been there once for our health check. Thank you. Where is this clinic situated? It's just around the corner. But there are two clinics along Jalan Pelangi. Siki Clinic is opposite Surya Cafe. It is located between Lane Pharmacy and Fastmart. Don't go to ST Clinic which is next to Fastmart. There is always a very long queue at that clinic. Since you are only going for a normal health check, Siki Clinic should be just fine. Thanks. That is the end of part 1. Now, turn to part 2. Part 2. Listen to a briefing by a tour guide about Botany Agriculture Park. As you listen, choose the correct answer for questions 8 to 14. You now have 30 seconds to look at the questions. Now, listen carefully, and indicate your answers on the answer sheet. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to, Bodhni Agriculture Park, in Termarillo, which is the world's, first agroforestry park. I'm sure, all of you have been wanting to visit this place for a long time. So, your dream has finally come through. After your visit here, I will not be surprised, if you plan a second visit soon, with your family members. And perhaps, a third visit, in the near future. Well, this park is living proof, of Malaysia's commitment, to conservation of the environment. The rainforest remains pristine, and untouched. Only selected trees are felled, in order to preserve the park, as a natural forest reserve. This park also serves as a research and educational center, a family getaway destination, and a wildlife sanctuary, all in one. As a center for research and education, this park provides hands-on experience, for visitors. There is, a laboratory, for plant experiments and animal husbandry. The park is divided into numerous zones, and each zone highlights a specific aspect of agriculture. There is one area devoted to palm oil plantation, whereby the different steps of palm oil processing, are shown here. This park is an excellent spot for family outings. There is so much to do, see, and explore. Various demonstrations, and cultural exhibitions, are held in the park. Besides that, there are also many recreational facilities, a mini zoo, a aviary, picnic spots and nature trails. Other than that, there is also a canopy walk, around 250 meters long. It offers visitors, amazing views of the surrounding area. Perhaps, you would like to try it out later. Well, I must say that it is quite an experience, to walk on it, as each time the wind blows, the bridge will sway, and you may want to cling to the ropes, desperately. But no worries, it is safe. Then, there is a quaint village, recreated at the yesteryear village. The whole scenario resembles a typical Malay village, in the early 1950s, with wooden, atop, houses on stilts. There are also traditional resting places, which are difficult to find nowadays. The park also has not to be missed attractions. The spice and beverage garden, displays all types of spices, the tall tree house, gives a stunning bird's eye view, of the whole park. The fruit orchard, is an integrated orchard of local Malaysian fruit trees. 
And finally, we have the ornamental garden, which is laid out in a geometric pattern, an eye-catching view from the tree house. So, you have it all here. You need to spend a full day here, to do the park justice. There is so much to see, and do. And certainly, your visit will be fruitful. So, are you ready for the ultimate experience? Now, you will listen to the recording again. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Botany Agriculture Park in Termarillo, which is the world's first agroforestry park. I'm sure all of you have been wanting to visit this place for a long time. So, your dream has finally come through. After your visit here, I will not be surprised if you plan a second visit soon with your family members and perhaps a third visit in the near future. Well, this park is living proof of Malaysia's commitment to conservation of the environment. The rainforest remains pristine and untouched. Only selected trees are felled in order to preserve the park as a natural forest reserve. This park also serves as a research and educational center, a family getaway destination, and a wildlife sanctuary, all in one. As a center for research and education, this park provides hands-on experience for visitors. There is a laboratory for plant experiments and animal husbandry. The park is divided into numerous zones, and each zone highlights a specific aspect of agriculture. There is one area devoted to palm oil plantation, whereby the different steps of palm oil processing are shown here. This park is an excellent spot for family outings. There is so much to do, see, and explore. Various demonstrations and cultural exhibitions are held in the park. Besides that, there are also many recreational facilities, a mini zoo, a aviary, picnic spots, and nature trails. Other than that, there is also a canopy walk, around 250 meters long. It offers visitors amazing views of the surrounding area. Perhaps you would like to try it out later. Well, I must say that it is quite an experience to walk on it, as each time the wind blows, the bridge will sway, and you may want to cling to the ropes desperately. But no worries, it is safe. Then, there is a quaint village, recreated at the yesteryear village. The whole scenario resembles a typical Malay village, in the early 1950s, with wooden, atop, houses on stilts. There are also traditional resting places, which are difficult to find nowadays. The park also has not to be missed attractions. The spice and beverage garden, displays all types of spices. The tall tree house, gives a stunning bird's eye view, of the whole park. The fruit orchard, is an integrated orchard of local Malaysian fruit trees. And finally, we have the ornamental garden, which is laid out in a geometric pattern, an eye-catching view from the tree house. So, you have it all here. You need to spend a full day here, to do the park justice. There is so much to see, and do. And certainly, your visit will be fruitful. So, are you ready for the ultimate experience? That is the end of part 2. Now, turn to part 3. Part 3. Listen to three students, Eliza, Robert, and Tanya, talking about the problems they face at a supermarket. For questions 15 to 17, choose the main problem each speaker has, from the list, A, to E. Use the letters only once. There are two extra options, which you do not need to use. You now have 15 seconds to look at the questions. Now, listen carefully 
and indicate your answers on the answer sheet. Student 1. Eliza. I am a frequent shopper at Best Superstore, and I have always enjoyed shopping here. As a matter of fact, my family members have been shopping at Best Superstore for as long as I can remember. Recently, however, I found the customer service to be not as good as before. I was looking for my favorite pasta, but could not find it. So I tried to approach one of the staff for assistance. However, she was busy with her mobile phone. Yet, upon asking for her help, she glared at me, and told me that she was in the middle of something important, and asked me to look for the item myself. I am sure you will definitely agree with me, that this kind of attitude is really uncalled for, and it is highly unprofessional. I will think twice, before shopping here again. Student 2. Robert With regard to Best Superstore, I must say that, they have the best offer, and the best price in town. Besides that, their produce such as vegetables, fish, and meat are always fresh, and that makes Best Superstore, the place you always want to patronize. But my shopping trip ended with an unpleasant experience. After queuing up for almost half an hour, though there were only two customers in front of me, the cashier told me that they would not provide any shopping bags. I was flabbergasted, wondering how I was going to carry two weeks of groceries on my own. On top of that, I was told that the management would not allow trolleys to be taken out of the store. In other words, I had to carry all my things to my car. But thank goodness, a kind customer gave me two large bags, big enough for me to put all my stuff in. Student 3. Tanya. During my last visit to Best Superstore, it took me more than one hour to pay for a pair of socks for my brother. Imagine having to wait for more than one hour. It was so frustrating, when not one person working in that store, lifted a finger to help another employee, who was having problems, handling the line, at her register. They were either busy chatting among themselves, or obviously oblivion, to the situation. I wasted my time queuing up, for so long. If not for my brother's favorite socks, I would have walked off. I have decided that. It is not worth it to shop at this store, although it is nearby. It would be more worthwhile to walk for another 15 minutes to the next store, rather than save a few ringgit but end up getting frustrated. Now, you will listen to the recording again. Student 1. Eliza. I am a frequent shopper at Best Superstore, and I have always enjoyed shopping here. As a matter of fact, my family members have been shopping at Best Superstore for as long as I can remember. Recently, however, I found the customer service to be not as good as before. I was looking for my favorite pasta, but could not find it. So I tried to approach one of the staff for assistance. However, she was busy with her mobile phone. Yet, upon asking for her help, she glared at me, and told me that she was in the middle of something important, and asked me to look for the item myself. I am sure you will definitely agree with me, that this kind of attitude is really uncalled for, and it is highly unprofessional. I will think twice, before shopping here again. Student 2. Robert With regard to Best Superstore, I must say that, they have the best offer, and the best price in town. Besides that, their produce such as vegetables, fish, and meat are always fresh, and that makes Best Superstore, 
the place you always want to patronize. But my shopping trip ended with an unpleasant experience. After queuing up for almost half an hour, though there were only two customers in front of me, the cashier told me that they would not provide any shopping bags. I was flabbergasted, wondering how I was going to carry two weeks of groceries on my own. On top of that, I was told that the management would not allow trolleys to be taken out of the store. In other words, I had to carry all my things to my car. But thank goodness, a kind customer gave me two large bags, big enough for me to put all my stuff in. Student 3. Tania. During my last visit to Best Superstore, it took me more than one hour to pay for a pair of socks for my brother. Imagine having to wait for more than one hour. It was so frustrating when not one person working in that store lifted a finger to help another employee who was having problems handling the line at her register. They were either busy chatting among themselves or obviously oblivion to the situation. I wasted my time queuing up for so long. If not for my brother's favorite socks, I would have walked off. I have decided that. It is not worth it to shop at this store, although it is nearby. It would be more worthwhile to walk for another 15 minutes to the next store, rather than save a few ringgit but end up getting frustrated. That is the end of part 3. Now, turn to part 4. Part 4. Listen to a radio interview between a host and an online entrepreneur, named Mr. Arma, about the online cyber auction business. As you listen, choose the correct answer, for questions 18 to 24. You now have 30 seconds, to look at the questions. Now, listen carefully, and indicate your answers on the answer sheet. Welcome to our show, Mr. Rama. Glad to have you here today. This is our program on young entrepreneurs. Thank you so much for inviting me. Mr. Rama, you are the CEO of the Get It Right Cyber Auction Business. And I believe this is a new trend in Malaysia. I am sure many listeners would like to know more about cyber auction. Yes, the cyber auction business is growing very fast in Malaysia, but it is the in thing now in many countries such as the US, UK, France, and even our neighboring countries like Singapore and Thailand. The operation is actually not complicated. If you have something to sell, you can contact us at www.getitright.com.my. We will help you to get your item listed for sale on our virtual shop. If you are not sure of what to do, you can contact our customer service at 03-800-800-88. So, do the sellers have to pay a registration fee for the service? Well, at the moment, there is no fee for the first 3,000 users who register on our website. Potential buyers can put in their bids online if they are interested to buy any of the items listed. Items could start from as low as 1 ringgit and can go up to as high as 2,000 ringgit. It all depends on the items on sale and if the buyers are willing to bid a higher amount. Oh, I see. How does the buyer and the seller close a deal in your cyber shop? Basically, any transaction made is on the basis of a willing buyer and seller. 
we provide a cyber shop for buyers and sellers to meet. Email addresses and phone contacts are provided upon request. If both parties agree on the price, then they will get in touch with each other either by email or phone. They will then arrange to meet to close the sale. We don't handle any cash transactions. Do you earn a profit for every closed deal? Not at all. Users are charged a small fee for each item advertised on our website. We are unable to keep track of all the sales transactions made. A lot of time will be spent if we were to do that. I see that a lot of items have been put up for auction on your website, ranging from kitchenware to jewellery. So, will it be right to say that you are able to sell almost anything in your cyber shop? Well, to a certain extent, as long as the item is legal and not something that is against the law. We have three websites actually. The first one advertises auctions on electronic items including computers. So if anyone is interested to buy or sell used computers or computer accessories, they can visit us at www.tech.com.my. Those who are interested to auction their properties can use our services at www.property.com.my. The third website, www.miss.com, is on miscellaneous items such as kitchenware and jewellery. It is something along the line of an online shopping catalogue. The fourth website that deals with cars is still under construction. The website is www.moto.com.my, so do look out for it. I must say, shopping is now getting more convenient. Yes, I agree with you. It is at your fingertips. We would like to make life easier for working people who do not have much time to shop. By using our online shopping service, they don't need to waste a lot of time getting caught in traffic jams or looking for a parking space and not to forget the exorbitant parking fees. Shoppers can shop in the comfort of their home. This is what we call armchair shopping. What is the response like so far? I must say that the response has been very encouraging and our service is well received. And the hottest items are mobile phones. There are very good offers and bargains on this site. That's good news. Well, Mr. Rama, thank you for the interesting information. So listeners, the next time you need to go shopping, try a cyber shop. You can browse through the products as long as you like before making your choice. And best of all, you don't have to worry about sales assistance hovering over you. Now, you will listen to the recording again. Welcome to our show, Mr. Rama. Glad to have you here today. This is our program on young entrepreneurs. Thank you so much for inviting me. Mr. Rama, you are the CEO of the Get It Right cyber auction business. And I believe this is a new trend in Malaysia. I am sure many listeners would like to know more about cyber auction. Yes, the cyber auction business is growing very fast in Malaysia, but it is the in thing now in many countries such as the US, UK, France, and even our neighboring countries like Singapore and Thailand. The operation is actually not complicated. If you have something to sell, you can contact us at www dot get it right dot com dot my we will help you to get your item listed for sale on our virtual shop if you are not sure of what to do you can contact our customer service at zero three eight double zero eight triple zero eight eight so do the sellers have to pay a registration fee for the service well at the moment there is no fee for the first 3,000 users who register on our website. Potential buyers can put in their bids online if they are interested to buy any of the items listed. Items could start from as low as 1 ringgit and can go up to as high as 2,000 ringgit. 
It all depends on the items on sale and if the buyers are willing to bid a higher amount. Oh, I see. How does the buyer and the seller close a deal in your cyber shop? Basically, any transaction made is on the basis of a willing buyer and seller. We provide a cyber shop for buyers and sellers to meet. Email addresses and phone contacts are provided upon request. If both parties agree on the price, then they will get in touch with each other either by email or phone. They will then arrange to meet to close the sale. We don't handle any cash transactions. Do you earn a profit for every closed deal? Not at all. Users are charged a small fee for each item advertised on our website. We are unable to keep track of all the sales transactions made. A lot of time will be spent if we were to do that. I see that a lot of items have been put up for auction on your website, ranging from kitchenware to jewellery. So, will it be right to say that you are able to sell almost anything in your cyber shop? Well, to a certain extent, as long as the item is legal and not something that is against the law. We have three websites actually. The first one advertises auctions on electronic items including computers. So if anyone is interested to buy or sell used computers or computer accessories, they can visit us at www.tech.com.my. Those who are interested to auction their properties can use our services at www.property.com.my. The third website, www.miss.com, is on miscellaneous items such as kitchenware and jewellery. It is something along the line of an online shopping catalogue. The fourth website that deals with cars is still under construction. The website is www.moto.com.my, so do look out for it. I must say, shopping is now getting more convenient. Yes, I agree with you. It is at your fingertips. We would like to make life easier for working people who do not have much time to shop. By using our online shopping service, they don't need to waste a lot of time getting caught in traffic jams or looking for a parking space and not to forget the exorbitant parking fees. Shoppers can shop in the comfort of their home. This is what we call armchair shopping. What is the response like so far? I must say that the response has been very encouraging and our service is well received and the hottest items are mobile phones. There are very good offers and bargains on this site. That's good news. Well, Mr. Rama, thank you for the interesting information. So listeners, the next time you need to go shopping, try a cyber shop. You can browse through the products as long as you like before making your choice. And best of all, you don't have to worry about sales assistance hovering over you. That is the end of part 4. Now, turn to part 5. Part 5. Dialogue 1. Listen to a promoter, talking to a customer, about a one-day hang gliding course. As you listen, choose the correct answer for questions 25 and 26. You now have 15 seconds to look at the questions. Now, listen carefully and indicate your answers on the answer sheet. Hello and good day to you. Have you ever thought of gliding in the sky? What? No way! It can be a good experience and is not as frightening as it looks. Well, our company is offering a one-day hang gliding course at Bukit Jugra. Oh, really? This is something new to me. So, tell me more. Well, if you are below 15, you won't be allowed to participate. And if you are 16 to 18 years old, you need your parents' consent. Besides that, you need to be physically fit and healthy. But the good news is, 
you do not need to have any experience or academic qualifications. The instructor will converse with you in English, so you need to be fluent in English. I see. Since I don't have any experience in this part, how does it work? Before the glide, you will meet your instructor. He will give you an hour of training at our training center. Then, you will be taken to the gliding area. Don't worry, the instructor will glide with you. He will steer the glide for the takeoff and once you are in the air and feel comfortable, he will let you control the hang glider. You may find it quite challenging at first as there will be strong winds, but you need not worry because the instructor will keep an eye on you and help you control the glider if necessary. It does sound interesting, but I'm sure it will be expensive. Well, you will be surprised. A half an hour glide is just 500 ringgit. The package includes the pre-flight training and the gliding itself. And for a one hour glide, you will get a 30% discount. You can also get a friend with you for an extra 150 ringgit. That sounds great. I will consider it. Please do. And here is a pamphlet for you. Now, you will listen to the recording again. Hello and good day to you. Have you ever thought of gliding in the sky? What? No way! It can be a good experience and is not as frightening as it looks. Well, our company is offering a one-day hang gliding course at Bukit Jugra. Oh, really? This is something new to me. So, tell me more. Well, if you are below 15, you won't be allowed to participate. And if you are 16 to 18 years old, you need your parents' consent. Besides that, you need to be physically fit and healthy. But the good news is, you do not need to have any experience or academic qualifications. The instructor will converse with you in English, so you need to be fluent in English. I see. Since I don't have any experience in this part, how does it work? Before the glide, you will meet your instructor. He will give you an hour of training at our training center. Then, you will be taken to the gliding area. Don't worry, the instructor will glide with you. He will steer the glide for the takeoff and once you are in the air and feel comfortable, he will let you control the hang glider. You may find it quite challenging at first as there will be strong winds, but you need not worry because the instructor will keep an eye on you and help you control the glider if necessary. It does sound interesting, but I'm sure it will be expensive. Well, you will be surprised. A half an hour glide is just 500 ringgit. The package includes the pre-flight training and the gliding itself. And for a one hour glide, you will get a 30% discount. You can also get a friend with you for an extra 150 ringgit. That sounds great. I will consider it. Please do. And here is a pamphlet for you. That is the end of Dialogue 1. Now, look at Dialogue 2. Dialogue 2. Listen to a conversation between two neighbors, Sean and Padma. As you listen, choose the correct answer for questions 27 and 28. You now have 15 seconds to look at the questions. Now, listen carefully and indicate your answers on the answer sheet. Good morning, Padma. Have you heard about the crime rate in Tambun? It is getting out of hand. There are many new cases reported almost every day. I'm sure those residing in the area are living in fear. Well, I did, but things seem to be looking up. I read in today's paper that the authorities are very concerned about this issue and have decided to deploy more enforcement there. 
they have set up more police bases around the area. In addition to that, they have supplied 20 more police vehicles. I hope with more police personnel, the crime rate will decrease. Yes, I hope so too. The sight of police personnel in the neighbourhood will help to allay fears and the public will feel more secure. I hope the police will come down hard on the criminals regardless of who they are. I see eye to eye with you. However, the solution does not only rest on the shoulders of the authorities. We too, as a member of the public, must work together with the enforcement to win this battle against crime. Without cooperation, all efforts will go down the drain. That is very true. The residents of Tambun should also form a neighbourhood patrol unit to supplement the effort of the police. Now, you will listen to the recording again. Good morning, Padma. Have you heard about the crime rate in Tambun? It is getting out of hand. There are many new cases reported almost every day. I'm sure those residing in the area are living in fear. Well, I did, but things seem to be looking up. I read in today's paper that the authorities are very concerned about this issue and have decided to deploy more enforcement there. They have set up more police bases around the area. In addition to that, they have supplied 20 more police vehicles. I hope with more police personnel, the crime rate will decrease. Yes, I hope so too. The sight of police personnel in the neighbourhood will help to allay fears and the public will feel more secure. I hope the police will come down hard on the criminals regardless of who they are. I see eye to eye with you. However, the solution does not only rest on the shoulders of the authorities. We too, as a member of the public, must work together with the enforcement to win this battle against crime. Without cooperation, all efforts will go down the drain. That is very true. The residents of Tambun should also form a neighbourhood patrol unit to supplement the effort of the police. That is the end of Dialogue 2. Now, look at Dialogue 3. Dialogue 3. Listen to a conversation between two friends, John Tun and Mia, discussing a self-drive road trip. As you listen, choose the correct answer for questions 29 and 30. You now have 15 seconds to look at the questions. Now, listen carefully and indicate your answers on the answer sheet. Hi John, where did you go? I have been looking for you. I was at the tour agency to get some information about travelling in New Zealand. Oh, are you looking for a tour group or a customised tour? Well, the agent told me that one of the best ways to see the country is to go on a self-drive road trip and the agency is promoting Leisurely Drive Around NZ. It is an ideal holiday package for those who seek a free and easy program in their travel plans. It is all about flexibility and freedom. That sounds interesting. I have read that the New Zealanders also use right-hand drive vehicles like ours. So driving around New Zealand will be a breeze. Additionally, their traffic rules are similar too. There are a lot of signages to guide those on self-drive road trips. So all you need is a valid Malaysian driving license. Yes, you are right. That is why I am thinking of going on a self-drive road trip. It will be a good experience and fun too. We will not be tied down to a strict schedule 
or a fixed itinerary which stops at unnecessary souvenir shops. Did the travel agent recommend any car rental agencies? They did. They have a list of car rental companies in New Zealand. However, they highly recommended the Buzz Car Rental, which is an established car rental company. It offers a wide network covering over 100 locations throughout New Zealand. Therefore, no matter where you are, a representative of the company will always be nearby. Besides, their fleet of vehicles are regularly serviced and maintained to the highest standard. Oh yes, they can also arrange hotel accommodation for you. That sounds really good. This will make a traveller feel comfortable and safe. I may want to experience a self-drive road trip in New Zealand in the near future. I have an extra brochure. You can read it and get more information. Thanks. Now, you will listen to the recording again. Hi John, where did you go? I have been looking for you. I was at the tour agency to get some information about travelling in New Zealand. Oh, are you looking for a tour group or a customised tour? Well, the agent told me that one of the best ways to see the country is to go on a self-drive road trip and the agency is promoting Leisurely Drive Around NZ. It is an ideal holiday package for those who seek a free and easy program in their travel plans. It is all about flexibility and freedom. That sounds interesting. I have read that the New Zealanders also use right-hand drive vehicles like ours. So driving around New Zealand will be a breeze. Additionally, their traffic rules are similar too. There are a lot of signages to guide those on self-drive road trips. So all you need is a valid Malaysian driving license. Yes, you are right. That is why I am thinking of going on a self-drive road trip. It will be a good experience and fun too. We will not be tied down to a strict schedule or a fixed itinerary which stops at unnecessary souvenir shops. Did the travel agent recommend any car rental agencies? They did. They have a list of car rental companies in New Zealand. However, they highly recommended the Buzz Car Rental, which is an established car rental company. It offers a wide network covering over 100 locations throughout New Zealand. Therefore, no matter where you are, a representative of the company will always be nearby. Besides, their fleet of vehicles are regularly serviced and maintained to the highest standard. Oh yes, they can also arrange hotel accommodation for you. That sounds really good. This will make a traveller feel comfortable and safe. I may want to experience a self-drive road trip in New Zealand in the near future. I have an extra brochure. You can read it and get more information. Thanks. That is the end of part 5. That is the end of the test. Please stop now. The invigilators will now collect your question papers and answer sheets.